Yeah. Welcome back to a set of podcast. I'm your host, Victor, along my co-host, Mark. Yo. How you doing over there, sir? Pretty good. Pretty good. Feeling good. Feeling great. That's How are you doing? Beautiful Saturday. Almost a Sunday. Um, I'm good, That's man. It's been a good week. I just want to say congratulations to my sister who graduated from college. She she did her thing four years. We're both done. We both degreed up two she degrees. Did. So that was cool. Good time. Fun time. I actually have a quick story before we get into whatever we want to talk about today right. from this day. Cause she graduated on Thursday. Everything, the festivities and everything was on Thursday. Um, and there was like two ceremonies because it was she was she went to school for nursing. So there was like the graduation where the whole school was like getting diplomas and stuff. But before that, they had like a little war ceremony where they handed out like little pins or whatever. And like, you know, people, it was like the highest GPA and like all that gotcha. stuff like that. So she, we went to that before the actual graduation, and it was cool. You know, we just sat there, you know, cheered on, recorded, took photos. But when I was there, I was sitting there, right, and it was packed in there. Um, it was like, you know, my parents, my siblings, my grandma, and me and my brother sat kind of separate just because, like, there was a limited amount of seats, so we were there. But my parents sat a row behind us and my grandmother, and there was a family next to them, and there was a little boy, right? So... I don't want to preface it. You know how like when people sneeze, there's like different kind of sneezes, right? Yeah. There's a <coughs> sneeze, which like it feels like your head's gonna pop, and like I don't like those. Yeah. And there's my sneeze that I feel like, and it's only in my family that's very one of a kind that's just like <laughs> <laughs> super loud. And then there's you know the regular like you know somebody tucks their elbow and <coughs> and you know that's it. It's like all right, they're good. God bless you. Like thank you. Yes. Then there are those where even if you don't even see it, you're like, oh, that was a big one. Like. Something was in that. <laughs> and I heard one of those behind me where it was like, <clears throat> and I heard something like come out with it. <laughs> so I turn around, this little boy, he's probably like seven, right? So he let out that, <clears throat> and I heard something come out. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta get a look at this. <laughs> so I turn around and he has, I know, I shit you not, a boogie hanging from his <laughs> nose down to his chin <laughs> that long, right? So I'm like, ah, oh, like his mom's like, probably give him a tissue. You know what this boy does like off rip with the boogie hanging from his nose, passes his chin. He goes <laughs> and scoops it up with his tongue, hey, bro. Yo, I'm and I'm there. I'm like, <laughs> it's quiet in there. So I was like, yo. <laughs> and my brother's like, my brother's like, what? I was like, yo. I was like, nah, I just told him the same thing I told you. He was like, that's nasty. <laughs> so that was how my graduation day started with my sister. Nice, nice. Um, how was your past week? Any boogies? Uh, no, no boogies. Um, no mocos. Nah. <laughs> uh, the week was pretty chill. Nothing too crazy. Went by pretty fast, if I say so myself. But um, yeah, the week. Uh, I forget when it was. I think it was Sunday. I went to go see Guardians of the Galaxy. That was a fun movie. I've been meaning to go see that, but I haven't. Yeah, it's a really good movie, I would say so. Um, yeah, all around it was pretty good. Uh, so I saw that. And yeah, nothing much really too crazy. Yesterday, I went to, um, for the first time, crazy too, because I've been in Philly my whole life, but um, Penn's Landing, that uh, place that has the hammocks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never been there before. So. Okay. First time. And they had like this event yesterday there um, where it was more, I guess, just a kind of like a dancing event or, you know, somewhat around that range. I wouldn't know the exact name for what they like, called it. But yeah, they had like a competition there, kind of friendly competition of just like a dance off thing where they had like a bunch of people that was watching just like, oh, you know, if you can dance like there was a, it was for like a hundred dollars. So it was like, oh, if you can dance, like come up here, show us what you got or whatever. And then like at the end, we'll like have all of y'all come and then do, you know, another dance or whatever, just to kind of see like, oh, like who like, did the best and everything. You got served. <laughs> yeah, basically. There was a lot of good people out there that were just kind of like moving with the groove. The DJ was great, too. And I felt like he played on like good amount of like mixes and stuff to where like no matter what you were able to like if you were a dancer or whoever like, whatever you had you had you were able to make it work it wasn't something where it was like a crazy like change in this like tone or any type of thing like, it was like consistently flowing and i was like yeah, this is pretty cool so yeah everybody was vibing it was pretty good you know so yeah it was it was dope but yeah other than that i was just did you partake Nah, you know, I was like, I'm gonna sit out on this one. Yeah, you know? I'm gonna let, have it. I'm gonna let everybody else, you know, have, have their, their fun, fun, you know, enjoy. You know, I don't want to just completely just take the hundred dollars after I just mm. do one move. So I was like, you know what? I let everybody else, you know, show themselves out, you know. So as I did that, you know, humbled myself. 
That's good. That's good. You let the other people enjoy themselves for once. Yeah. Let them have their day. Let them so, have their moment. I might as well, you know. Yeah. What can you do? Exactly. But, um, also, I mean, I guess another part that I remember from the graduation stuff was uh, like when I was at the actual graduation itself, my mom had got like one of them air horns from like Party City. And I was laughing because I was kind of holding on to it. I'm like, I'm not going to use it just randomly. I was like, I'm going to wait till she's up there and like it makes sense. But there was other people using them that they had them too, like in other parts. And I don't know if you ever watched like a soccer game. I know you watched the World Cup like a couple months back when you hear like those horns in the background, like subtly low key. Yeah. I was here. I'm sitting there watching the graduate. And I'm here. I'm like, I feel like I'm at a soccer game because you hear in the there's like <laughs> <laughs> and people cheering and shit. There was this one family near us where like it was just funny to me that it seemed like everybody they knew everybody the way they was cheering like any every like 30 seconds they said a name they would stood up and like cheered for them but there was this one guy it was just like an older like just like a very just like just uncle vibes like uncle at the barbecue type vibes where i guess it was like his nephew or something was going up mm. and he didn't cheer he didn't say nothing he just stood up and pointed like directly at him he just like <laughs> locked eye contact it was just like kind of anime is this yeah <laughs> like he just spotted him he was just like He's like, now that you've got your diploma, I want you to fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he jumps down from the thing. <laughs> <laughs> now you call yourself a graduate. <laughs> I have my doctorate, motherfucker. <laughs> you don't even begin to believe what I've done. But uh, yeah. then there was another guy who was like a like a much older, like he was like a grandpa age, but he was definitely like uncle type vibes. Like he you could tell there's a differentiation there. But he was like asleep immediately. <laughs> like his, so he said no. <laughs> it, was like a, it was like a family of like ten. And he was on the very edge, just like slumped on himself. And I just like was dying laughing because he was out. But then as soon as somebody like would cheer, he'd be like, like he would come back up or the horn would go off and he would wake up. And me and my brother was just joking. It's like, imagine he just slumped like that. He wakes up and the whole shit, the whole arena is just empty. <laughs> no one's here. It's like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Sir, that's <laughs> how you got to go. It's like, what day is it? <laughs> when was the graduation? You sat through four graduations. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> we had to tell everybody to just go around you. Yeah. But it was a good time, fun times. Fucking Broad Street was terrible. Yeah, I believe it. There was literally like a handful of times where I was just like, I'm just going to go on foot. Like, because we were like trying to, me and my dad and my brother were trying to maneuver and like park the car or get like the cap and gown of my sister, like yeah. get food or get where Kind of crazy to think that like Temple's been there for so long and they haven't figured out like a parking situation for moments like that. Where it's well, they have like, like seven parking lots. It's just that Broad Street itself sucks because there's yeah. streets where you can't turn left or right or there's one ways. That's very true. Or pe- yeah. or, and then there's just people. It's like a all the, like P- Temple is one of the very sc- few schools. I feel like a lot of them in Philly are like this, but in other places it's not. Where you think about like Penn State. Penn State is just its own town. Yeah. I know Temple you, yeah. is in the middle of a neighborhood. Yeah. So there's still people just re- living their regular lives. Still, there's a yeah. subway and shit going on. So it's just going to be regardless just fucked up. True, true, true. But Yeah. There was like a point where we were just like trying to park and then it was like getting close to graduation. I was just like, I'll just walk from here and like get to her so we can make sure everything's fine. But good time. Went to dinner after, Bull was like hooking it up. He like gave us all this shit for no reason. I was like, bro, I'm, I can't breathe. Where'd you go? <laughs> uh, Capitol Grill in Cherry Hill. Gotcha. But like Bull came out with like a seafood salad and I was like, I don't even eat this, but he gave it to us. So I'm gonna eat it today. And I ate that. Turns and then, you all at the end for it. It's like, bro, I didn't even ask yeah. you. <laughs> And then he came out with some like it was like a blood orange sorbet. I'm like I don't even I never had this, but it, it was bomb. Not gonna lie, I I love sorbet. First of all, yeah, raspberry sorbet is my favorite. It was good, consistency good, tastes good. But I when I heard blood orange, I was like I don't know how I feel about this because you had Shake Shack before, right? Yeah, I like since I started working my new job and like one before this, like I was going there like a little bit more often, and I will always like try to because they change their menu often. They like, usually have like a featured item. And they have like their drinks where they change out their lemonades a little bit. And I got a blood orange lemonade, bro. I took one sip. I was like, I feel so betrayed. And I just threw it out because it was so nasty. Oh, really? <laughs> like it was just so tart and sour. I'm like, bro, this is not lemonade. Like I don't, there's no lemon. There's no <laughs> this lemon. Just, this is just like a burgundy drink. Just a bunch of aid. No lemon. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I'm so, I was like, I had to eat the rest of my meal just by itself. I was like, yo, this sucks. But then he gave me that sorbet. I'm like, oh, this is better. And then he came out with champagne. I drink champagne. My mom ain't want her champagne. I drink her champagne. Okay. I was like, all right, I'm not. I was oh, like, I'm cool. I'm feeling <laughs> I'm, it now. I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm chilling, bro. Where, where's, where's the waiter at? Yeah. Yo, don't throw some more stuff over here. <laughs> yeah, he just kept hooking it up. And then I ate my, and then that was all beside me ordering my actual food. Mm. And then had dessert and shit. I was, I was cooked. I, I, I was glad I wasn't driving because I was, I was too damn full to function. But happy day. 
And then good. also another call for celebration. I don't know if you heard our boy, um, Robert De Niro. He welcomed oh, yeah. his like 32nd child at the, at the age of 79. <laughs> it was seven, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what was the actual number? How old is he 79? How old is he? I don't know how old he is. I saw it in the I saw in the headlines a bunch of times. People were kind of like, yo, that's kind of wild that he's still reproducing. Yeah, when I heard that, I was honestly like surprised. I was like, wow. I'm like, he's still he's still freaking. My man doesn't shoot blanks. <laughs> he yep. don't miss. He's 79. Who's his wife that he's still out here pumping out oh, yeah. kids. She has to be young in order to be able to, because like it again, it gets harder and harder. So, well, it seems like he's not married. Ah, so was it like a? F- Unless I'm confused, was it like a sperm donation type thing? Was, I don't know. Who's his girlfriend then? Frozen. It says his last marriage. It ended in 2018. Jesus. Christ. Girlfriend now. Are you, uh, can you just say who's like the mother? I guess of the. What's his most recent child, I guess? Try to look that up. Tiffany Chen is her name. But my thing is, yeah, I don't know. She's a film producer. Makes sense. She's 64. Wow, okay. Maybe it was a surrogate. I don't know. Maybe she did give birth. Beautiful. Healthy baby child. I don't know the gender. Um, I hope he gets to... (laughs) At least see its 10th birthday. Yes. (laughs) That's what I was about to say. Like, bro... Like, you know how much that would suck to be like, yeah, I have my dad and yeah, he would have been there for me and we would have had so much fun, but he was just old as fuck. So yeah, I didn't you can't get keep up, bro. He, I know he's not built like no disrespect. Like I know, he, you know, successful guy. He's still acting or whatever. I know he's not being active. Like, yeah, I imagine know. taking care of a newborn, being responsible for a newborn at 79. You're literally a grand, like you are a great a grandfather. You're already a grandpa. Like, it's just weird to think, but like you at that age are caring for your son as a grandpa. Like, I thought that his oldest son is like 50 <laughs> or his oldest child is like 50. Also, another thing I just noticed too, looking this up, trying to figure out who his wife is, his past two marriages or his only two marriages, both black women. So... Robert De Niro down with the brown. <laughs> <laughs> but his current is an uh, Asian woman. Hmm. Man, got a taste for culture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy to think, though, to be born that age and then, like, you're saying his oldest son is, like, 50-something. Like, imagine being 50-something and imagine being like, yeah, I got to go pick my brother up from preschool. <laughs> and you just, like, what? He was born in 1976, so he's, like, 50, if not getting there. Because I'm not, I'm not able to do math right now. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, just a 24 and 2000, we're in 20. So he's like 47. Or if we, yeah, I'm going to just bank with that and stop guessing. Like by the time he's done college, his oldest brother is literally going to be his dad's age right now. <laughs> like, like, that's that just crazy. That is wild. Like, that's crazy, right? Like, my older brother is 70-something. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're just like, just freshly out of college, like looking for fucking a job. Mm. I, gotta, so I had to check my brother into a retirement home. <laughs> like, what? It's like, yeah, he's not doing too well. I'm like, what do you mean? Yeah, he's like 79. <laughs> I just know bro got, just going to have, I mean, unless, I mean, obviously if he's in school, but like he got nobody in his family that's his age. Yeah. That's why like, it's probably be so hard. Unless his know, dad, right unless his son has another child, which would make him the uncle. Yeah, the uncle, right? You said unless his son. If, if Robert De Niro's son has another oh. kid, then that baby is that kid's yeah, uncle. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or uh, aunt. I don't, I don't know what the gender is still. Oh, I thought um, it was a boy. <laughs> I don't know. I assumed. <laughs> yeah. I thought you said boy, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's a guy. But I can't fathom. I can't fathom. I mean, obviously, I'm 24. I can't fathom taking care of a child now, let alone yeah, no. when I have the energy to, let alone at 79 years old. Yeah, but I mean, then again, he's rich, so it's like... Yeah, but like I get that because somebody was like, "Yo, it's kind of fucked up that he did this because he's that kid's not gonna have a dad for That's the majority saying. of his life." Like he's lucky. I mean, God willing, Robert De Niro. I mean, supposedly he's like a piece of shit person now. Like I'm just finding this out like in the past couple weeks or like the past year that he's like not a good guy. Um, but like even if he lives to a hundred, it's like you're gonna he's gonna that kid's gonna be like twenty. Because he's seventy nine, right? So yeah, he's eighty basically. Let's just say he's 80. he's eighty years old. Even if that kid, he's he might see his twenty first birthday, if he's lucky. Yeah, exactly. Fifteen is probably the oldest, you know. And he's at a point right now where it's like, how much can he really do? You know what I mean? I mean, then again, hopefully because he's rich, he's able to like know what to do to like take care of himself to be able yeah. to like still manage, you know, do stuff. But because like, 
No disrespect. Like, obviously, he's still acting and stuff. And, like, Betty White was almost 100, so she was still moving around. Yeah, so yeah, maybe yeah. it's, like, that type of, type of situation. But, like, I'd imagine after, like, 85, like, how much can he really, like... Yeah, like you're Do never gonna get the the son father type, like you know. Relationship. You can't play catch with yeah, that kid. Like, yeah, my arthritis is feeling bad. I got. By the time that it. kid is ten and he wants to play some type of sport, like you're not, you're. I mean, he's gonna hire some. Got to go do it. Some super professional. Yeah, he's gonna hire a fucking Bryce Harper. <laughs> yeah, to go and train his kid. <laughs> Damn, that you know what that situation reminds me of? It reminds me of Modern Family. <laughs> True. The dad. <laughs> how old is that guy supposed to be in the show? I don't know, but I mean, he's pretty old. And at yeah. one point, when the son wanted to like do sports, they went and hired like a like an a actual professional, like a coach, to go and help him because he couldn't do shit. <laughs> and it was just like, <laughs> yeah, I would, I couldn't do that. I'm just happy that I looked up who his girlfriend was, and it wasn't like some 18 year old. Oh yeah, yeah. That's I, what I was. I was worried about that. <laughs> I thought that it would be just because like Hollywood, a Hollywood, but also just the idea where it's like. Yeah, his like sperm can be active, but then again, like it's a lot harder for women because once they get older, it just gets harder and harder. Yeah. So I was like, okay, it probably is a woman who's younger than him, which she is, but, but not that much but older. Not that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, he's seventy nine, dating like a teenager. He's like, that's gonna be like De Niro. De Niro's gonna probably be on the same type of time because he's still not married. He got like, yeah, he got his cut off when like once his girlfriend turns twenty five, it's like you're cut off. You mean uh, just like uh, what's his face? Oh, what's his name now? Titanic. What's his uh DiCaprio? Yeah, okay. That's that what we're just, talking about. Oh, I thought you said De Niro. <laughs> I mean, I say he's gonna go on a similar path uh, as De Niro. Okay, as okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh DiCaprio has a cutoff. I mean, I don't know if it's real, but it's like you based seen, on previous yeah. trends, it's <laughs> yeah. like once they turn twenty five, he's just like hit the road. So buddy. we're both missing our cut, Mark. We gotta <laughs> get in there, get some of that DiCaprio money before it's too DiCaprio late. DiCaprio money, bro. Try. Something about the D. The DiCaprio, De Niro, they just yeah, got the O. But yeah, I mean that that shit. I don't know. Whatever. Hopefully that baby's okay and it's gonna have money because he owns like Nobu and share. He owns some restaurant that's like fucking wild. I, I think I'm pretty sure it's Nobu that he owns and they just opened one in Atlantic City and shit. He began money. He got bad grandpa. Fucking all those <laughs> old ass movies. It's funny to me how like after time. I mean not for everybody, but there's some actors where it's like they're known when they're like in their 30s and 40s and shit doing like serious films. Cause you think about like. The casinos and the, like those type of movies where it's like back then it's like oh he was the shit like he did yeah. taxi and all that shit and then they get up to now and they just do like comedy shit where it's just like you see like meet the fuckers and yeah uh was it back is it bad grandpa was that kefron or crazy grand which which one's the one with uh johnny knoxville is that bad grandpa I think so and then there's one he had with Zach Efron I'm sorry that I keep looking shit up but I just can't remember uh De Niro Zach Efron movie because that's the one that has what's her name in it aubrey plaza dirty grandpa ah uh, there you go something one grandpa. of them <laughs> one of the grandpas so it's funny how like after there's like it's almost like two different whole totally different careers yeah i mean at that point i guess they just figure they can do any role you yeah know? They, they've well they can't do, they can't so do much. action as much anymore what happened to liam neeson Where's that he man been said at? he hated black people and that was it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was it. That's what happened to <laughs> Liam Neeson. Yeah. Yeah, because what was it? Oh, he like acted like he was actually in Taken. He was like, oh, like, what was it? What happened to his daughter or to his family? I think I, he said that like something happened to a family member or his wife or whoever it was. And yeah. he like, he just walked around the streets looking for black people to fight or something. Yeah. Isn't that what it was? It was something like that. Or he said something specifically about, about black people. And I just can't remember what it was, but yeah, it, like it caught up to him and it got really bad. But then it was also something where it's like he, it, they were like trying to say he didn't really mean it in a certain way. Like it was weird. Like I don't know. Yeah, look. All right. So here's the whole headline. This was in 2019. Yeah, look. So Liam Neeson says he's not racist after looking for black man to kill after his friend's rape. So his friend got raped and he was just walking around looking for black people to kill because he was so angry that one person. I mean, obviously, like, that's terrible. Like, I feel yeah, sorry like for their the, friend. The idea, but, like, what is yeah. the logic there? It's just like, oh, like, now I have a reason to be racist. Like, But it's also the idea where it's, like, not even racist, but why are you trying to just do that to anybody? Why not the specific person? But going around and saying yeah. you're going to kill, like, like other it, people that have nothing to do with it. <laughs> you know you're not literally the guy in Taken. Like, chill. Like, you don't have a certain set of skills. Man, you're was, a regular-ass dude. Oh, he was in the first Star Wars movie, so. <laughs> and it was, like... 
Oh, he said that his media reaction said, did you know who it was? He said, he asked, like, did does she know who like who raped her? And she said no. And he said, what color were they? And then she said that the person was black. And he just went around looking for it, quote unquote, black bastard to kill after someone raped. But why does it like what did the color have to do with? So if it was a white bastard, you weren't gonna go out and look for white people to kill? Like yeah, that's think... where it gets that's where the racism part comes in, is like Yeah. You were just looking for a face to kill, like. Yeah, I don't know. At that point, that's where you sh- should have took it to the authorities or something. And he's specific, like, you didn't have to say that in an interview. You could have lied. True, you didn't. You, have you didn't have to that. say anything because clearly that was a very personal situation. Yeah, so it's not like somebody was following you with a microphone and they caught you saying that. It no, was... it was just like, oh, like literally, like just talking about, like, yeah, my friend yeah. was. It's a very unfortunate situation. You know, we're hoping that we could figure out who did it. Da da da. Like, keep it cordial and keep it pushing. You just went on a whole tangent. You were just like, I was just, I was just looking for them. <laughs> <laughs> and I told them. A certain I, set of skills. <laughs> I will find you. <laughs> <laughs> I will kill you. <laughs> it's like, damn, bro. Like, the same, you going off script. <laughs> yeah, it's. And uh, I guess because the most, the last one didn't do well, did it? Wasn't there like four takens? I don't remember. And then there was that movie where he was like, it was, it was like, it was taken, but like he was on a plane. Yeah. I was, was about to say that. It was like an air marshal or something. He was looking for the guy on the plane to kill. And everybody was like, oh, man, I was, it's not me, yeah, man. I don't I don't know what that was. But yeah. So a lot of movies like that. I saw that movie, too, in theaters and everything. I think it was, it was not called Flight. That's the one with... It's uh, not... That. That's... Uh, what's what's his name? Damn. I'm leaving here with something. Oh, Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. He's, <laughs> the, he's like the drunk pilot. Yes. hmm Yeah. My dad loves that movie. I feel like every time I walk downstairs, really? I catch him watching it like randomly. There's just, like, that on Netflix. movie, and then there's another movie that Denzel's in. It's kind of similar, but it's not a plane. It's a train. It's called Unstoppable. I think. Okay. And there's one where it's like a train that literally can't stop, mm-hmm. and they're just like all like on the news, like oh blah blah blah, and then he's just sitting there trying to. Oh stop. yeah, he's like going through the fucking yeah. the carts and shit, and yeah, trying to. It's so crazy. Like <laughs> communicating the people. That, I feel like I saw that movie like on accident somehow, like somewhere it was on. I just sat yeah, down and watched it. Exactly. I forget even where it was like located. It was like Ohio, Michigan. It was something. It was random, but yeah. You know something that I really noticed now. Especially with, like, I remember when we were on Discord, like, I think we were watching Demon Slayer, but before that, I had the game on, and we were just, like, saw a random trailer pop on the screen. You never really, like, at least in my head, I never realized this before, but there are so many movies that are made that just kind of just get lost in in translation. Like, they don't get thought about ever again. Yeah. Like, in my head, I'm like, all right, like, you think about, like, the Marvel films, like, people talk about those and those stick around. Taken, John Wick. Um, what's some of, like the Shrek series or like those movies like that they do really well and everybody talks about in pop culture. Yeah. There are so like that's a, such a small percentage of movies that are hits versus the thousands yeah. upon thousands that That'd just get made. They're in theater for a week, they flop and then they just disappear forever. And a lot of the times they'll be with big names. Yeah, because you think about like Denzel, you'll think about like Lethal Weapon or like is he in Lethal, Lethal Weapon? Did I just fuck that up? Lethal Weapon. I don't know. Is that Samuel Jackson? No, I don't know. No, 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 no. I think, I don't know. I'm sorry. I If Quinn was here, he'd be helpful. This is why <laughs> he should be here, but he decided not to. It's okay. Um, lethal Weapon. Is he in one of them? Am I tripping? No, that's, uh, what's his name? Dan Glover? I don't know. There's one movie he that Denzel and fucking Mark Wahlberg have together. What is it called? Oh, I know. I saw two that movie. guns. Yeah, I saw that movie in theaters actually. Yeah, those type of movies and like, you think about like Denzel's most popular shit, Training Day, Training Day, <laughs> and like all those types of movies. Oh, you motherfucker! But then there's so many they just kind of get taught. Like there's he's in a lot of fucking movies and they just get kind of tossed to the side. Or you think about like a lot of the bigger names too. There are times where I see shit where it's like, oh, fuck, what's his name? I am terrible with names today. But you just think like Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay. There are some movies that just like, for me, I think about like Southpaw. Southpaw is like a big movie, to, or like uh, what's it called, The Night Crawler, where he was like a news reporter. To me, that's like a big mm-hmm. movie for him. I don't know if you've seen that. No, the one movie I know where he's from that I remember is because I. Wa- the only reason why I watched this was because of high school. I never would have watched this, but Donnie Darko. Okay, and that's only, another one. Yeah, <laughs> that's another like popular film that a lot of people refer, mm-hmm. refer to as like a classic and shit. 
But then there's so many in their catalogs that they just get lost. Brokeback Mountain. They just get sold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that one's lost, bro. <laughs> no, nah, that I mean, it's slowly yeah. getting out of there. But there was a certain time period where was everybody was, was making fun of yeah. Because they made that movie at a time where people were not ready. For that. <laughs> they, they, they were, were throw it out two, now. The 2000s yeah. was not ready. For that. <laughs> yeah, throw it today, out today. Yeah, that'd be at Sundance. They get every award. Yeah. Did that movie win awards? I don't know. I never watched. Yeah, it, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> but like. Yeah, there's so many movies out there where they just get lost. And we we saw one with Jake Gyllenhaal. The one that we saw while we were watching NBA game was Jake Gyllenhaal. And it was like... Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was like... It's a war drone. Yeah. yeah. And they were just like, oh, like, he saved me. I have to save him. That and plot like, was Nobody's, so ass. <laughs> how, why, do they, why do we keep making these movies? Give us new stories. Yeah. People will go more if you stop pulling out these bullshit... Sh- like... I don't know. Obviously, you have those series where like their fan base is just not breaking. Like Fast and Furious is like there's some people that are just like I don't care what they put out. I'm just, I have to go see. I'm ten movies in. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna, I need to know what happens next. Yeah, if it's out there, we're gonna watch it. But too many movies are being made. I had this conversation about Marvel, where it's just like obviously like they had Endgame and there's kind of a reset where they're trying to rebuild. Like you're basically the back at Avengers one, like when we watched it like back then, where they're trying to build up all the heroes and build up the yeah. base. Now we're back at square one again with that. But they're doing, they're pumping out so much in short spans of time where so I feel like it's not getting the attention it deserves and some of them are not getting the right product that they yeah. deserve. I think what that has to deal with is the idea of Disney Plus and yeah. the shows. And, if, on, and on top of that as well. And it's like, yeah, cool, we appreciate that. But not everybody has the time or the dedication to go out and do that, especially when, if you're going to do that, at least make them all solid shows. Some of them are just like, I could have yeah. gone without... I could have saved these eight hours of my life not watching this yeah, show. It's it's become like a love hate thing because I understand a lot of the times when they you also bring the idea of like oh you have to like kind of watch this to understand what was in the movie. So I understand that whole idea, but at the same time it's pretty cool to know like if you have been here since day one, you will know what's going on, what happened, what that reference mm-hmm. was, and all that. So that's where it's like pretty cool for the, like the diehard fans. But it does suck when you have people who are just trying to get into it or just like, what the hell is happening? Why am I being referenced? Who is this person, yeah. this lady that just showed up? And you're just like, what the hell? It's like, oh, I got to start at Iron Man 1, then go to 3, then go to 2, <laughs> then watch fucking Ant-Man. And you got to go, like, yeah, Disney Plus literally had like the chronological order shit. And it was, yeah. just, it was like all over the place. And imagine somebody, that's just the movies and the shows and then as you're trying to get through those you have more and more movies coming out like every other month like this year alone we had like black panther and we got guardians of the galaxy and then even yeah, months when, prior to that we had uh fucking thor yeah but i mean right now i know there's going to be like a kind of a big gap till the next movie i remember i was solid um we're not getting another one till like november so guardians of the galaxy was like the last thing so far for the rest of this like year till november and it's supposed yeah. to be the marvels which i'm being honest looks so ass but that's just <laughs> you know, it just looks so ass that literally that movie that trailer looked like they literally were like look brie larson since you're you know captain marvel obviously we're due for a sequel <laughs> let's just throw let's just think of some shit yeah. you know like that's how literally it felt when i watched that trailer because it just made no sense to me there was no plot really that really like was something cool like good they just had all the characters that were relative similar to her and was just like, oh, we're just going to throw all three of y'all in here. Let's see what happens. And I was like, oh, this shit kind of look corny. Yeah. Now they're getting too big. And somehow between all this, we still don't have a standalone Hulk movie. <laughs> we do. <laughs> now with Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> you're, you're right. but we still I love that Hulk movie. <laughs> yeah. It I, was very serious and, you know. Like that was, I mean, is that that's still considered a part of this universe technically, isn't it? It is. It's very uh, weird. The end part, there's like an end credit scene that like they have somebody that's from the rest of the like um, the other movies. He's like the Secretary of Defense. Mm. He's like in the like end credit scenes of that. So like when he shows up later in the like uh, Iron Man, you're like, oh shit, like he was still in there. But yeah, you're right. They did just end up changing. Like, yeah, <laughs> which is whole... fine, but like, give us a new movie for him. Like, that's very true. You can have a part two. Yeah, yeah. Some point, you know, all these people got sequels, three movies, four movies. Hulk don't got like, bro. That Hulk. I don't know. To me, that Hulk movie was good. The one with, like before. Mark I watched Ruffalo. it so long ago, so it's like hard to remember. But I remember parts of it. Yeah, I've but... seen it so many times. I don't know why. I yeah, but... I've seen parts of it. <laughs> and then we have a fucking She Hulk, and we got her dancing with Megan The Stallion, fucking body, yadi yadi yadi, and we can't get a new freaking Hulk movie, bro. Get me started on that. There's plenty of like Hulk st- stories out there. Yeah, there and is. And it could even be like, obviously, now he's like pussy Hulk because he got beat up by Thanos. <laughs> but like, bring him out of that. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, he did. He definitely got out of it. But now I think what it is is that who his character is now. It's like, I don't know. I feel like they made him such like a grandpa, such like a. He don't got to be, bro. He's that's what I'm saying. And he doesn't have to be. But I feel like they pushed him into that corner where now if we gave him another movie, it would be so weird and random to be like well why is he fighting this person yeah. it seemed like he was such like a a chill guy minding his business why all of a sudden is he now fighting somebody on a different planet probably and that's where it's probably like hard for them to make something but you're right i definitely think it was they should have definitely made this a long time ago as yeah. far as like another hulk movie and now a lot of those a lot of the people from like the og just that first saga are just kind of dropping out they're kind of done with it all like yeah scarlett johansson was like i'm cool uh yeah. black widow was like i'm cool Fucking, uh, I'm blanking out on names again, but there's other actors that are just like, I mean, fucking Thor is like, all right, like this might be my last draw. Like, I'm, I got my own little yeah, personal he, stuff going on. Yeah. I know a lot of like certain people from, um, Guardians of the Galaxy might be done. Yeah. Too, like. Um, Zoe, that's what I was thinking of. Zoe Saldana says she, I'm done with Gamora. That was it. Yeah. I think, uh, um, even, um, Batista, I think he said he was done too. Yeah. So it's like, I guess they're realizing that it's kind of on the, like, it's not as cool as it used to be to be in Because back then it was like, yo, like, if you could get into a Marvel movie, like, fucking do it. And yeah. now it's like, everybody's in this shit. And it's just like, it's kind of. It just takes a toll on you, like, you to, like, have to constantly, like, do a bunch of stuff for them. You know what I mean? Like, it's just to constantly go back and back and always have to do these certain roles and stuff like that. It's just, it can be tiring for it's sure. Probably very demanding too. Like, you have to block out any other opportunity to That's do what I was going to say. Yeah, you probably can, like, do other stuff with anything. So, it sucks. But what really does suck about it, I feel like, with, like, to me, is that, like, back then, you had, like, just your main, like, stars in those uh Marvel movies but now it's like you see a lot of people getting like put into it, like you said, like a lot of like, I wouldn't say random actors, but they do end up getting their time. And I know I felt like I saw something with like uh Bad Bunny is going to be a superhero in the Marvel Universe. That's what I'm saying. And I just feel like if I were to see that back then, it would be so hype. But now yeah. that it's happening now, it's like, eh, who really yeah. cares? You know, like because you feel like everybody's just getting in it just to get in it, you know. And I know I saw something. Pro like, I, I don't know if it's true or it's happening, but I know like. Keanu Reeves wanted to be in it too. Yeah. And that's where it's like, in my head, I'm like, yo, that'd be so cool. But I'm just thinking like, what story could they really make to like make me really want to like be like, oh, John Wick, shit. John Wick is a Marvel superhero. <laughs> yo, like, I would believe it, bro. Like, that would be awesome. But that's where it's like, I don't, it would suck because somebody who's really good as Keanu Reeves, it would suck that he now is like putting, being brought into it at so a bad, late, you know. At a bad time, yeah. It just wouldn't be really that great. I, don't, I have faith in some of them to be able to like keep shit going. Oh, Nicolas Cage is supposed to be like Ghost Rider again. But I trust, I I really like the Shang-Chi, like people. Like, I feel like that was done well. Like, I like, I, I feel like people, huh? <laughs> the cast, <laughs> <laughs> like Simu, Sim, Sima Lu, Simu Lu, I, I'm sorry, or who was his proper name? The the main character oh, in Shang-Chi okay. and Aquafina. Like, I liked their dynamic and I feel like he's going to be good because I loved his, like his action scenes and like what they did for the fighting. And then we saw him like, that's dope. And he'll his character will be do well in the shit if they able to like build him up into it. What's her name from the Doctor Strange movie, the second Doctor Strange movie, the, the young girl, so so she Gomez. I'm sorry, her name is hard to pronounce, but the girl who's like jumping through time and shit, like that was her whole uh, power. Oh, uh, I need to say her name. I can't. I, I can't. They called her like Miss America or something like. That. I thought it was that or something like that, I but I couldn't remember Doctor Strange to cast. Fucking. Uh, yeah, I think it is Sochi Gomez, but what the fuck was her character name? It was Chavez, something Chavez, I think. America Chavez, yeah. is that it? Yeah. Am I tripping? Something like that. And like, I feel like I have faith in that. It seems like Tom Holland might be done soon as well because they were making it seem like he's kind of like through with all this. Mm -hmm. So like, I feel like I trust her. She was young in this. I didn't like the Doctor Strange second movie that much or at all, really. But I feel like she's still young, but she'll be able to grow into the role. And, like, she'll be one of the main people that I feel like they'll really build around her. Tom Holland's probably going to be out. They'll probably bring in... They'll probably finally introduce a Miles Morales. And I feel like he'll he's going to carry heavy, whoever they decide to pass that on to. Yeah. I just... I don't know. Like, like I really... Like, it's getting to that point where a lot of the people are just cut, cutting out. And it's going to get to that point where, again, hopefully it carries on. But it's also probably going to get to the point where it's just... It's going to be like they're going to release stuff, but no one's going to start caring anymore. You know what I yeah. mean? It's going to be one of those things where it's like, I'll catch it when I catch it. Before, it was like, yo, I got to go 
opening night. Well, no matter what, we got to see what happens and what's going to be at the end credits. Now it's like, hmm. I, I'll I catch could, the I end credits on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's going to record. I'll catch like that, you know? And that's what sucks about it. But I guess now we're just getting to that point. Because every time, there's always a, a gap where certain movies are just popular. Like, think about like parody movies. And then you get to like the paranormal activity phase where like scary movies were the shit. And now we're just like in that. Now we were in a long, for a long time, we were in this super superhero movie thing. So I think we're probably getting to a point where like we're making that transition to a new era of whatever that may be i don't know what's gonna be but we'll see anime bro we gotta get anime. i don't think that's gonna happen here but maybe for the people that care but not to, to the point where it's gonna be mainstream it has to be bro it has to be maybe it's like animated time like dc like superhero animated movies like if dc made animated movies like in theaters i feel like it would be but they wouldn't do that but we're on, almost out of time so we're gonna we're gonna run up out of here um yeah anything we'll say before we get out of here mark uh nah just we love the support hope, you know hope to keep seeing you guys here every day or i guess every time we post but yeah hope to see you guys here um yeah victor you want to say anything else that's it um everything that you need to find to keep up with us or the podcast is in our description appreciate all the love thank you for 1300 subs making our way moving up we're gonna keep posting we're doing what we do and we see you guys next week see ya